All right, I want to begin this one with a quick look at history. This is the Ottawa Senators up against the Hamilton Tigers. Uh, no, November 29th, 1924, although even here the date might be in question. This says the 30th. Maybe it's because I'm in Korea and it would have been the 30th in Korea given the time zones. And maybe somehow they've, uh, um, I don't know, accommodated for that or adjusted for it or whatever. But um, this looks to be a far more interesting game than the, uh, I guess, than the season debut. Uh, between the uh, Montreal Canadiens and the Toronto St. Pats. This one here, actually, was a 5-3 uh, game, and it wasn't until the third period, actually, this this being the historic game, obviously. It wasn't until period three that the Hamilton Tigers actually took over. This one was tied at three after 40. And the Ottawa Senators, I noticed, something really interesting here, and I'm not sure if... Uh, I don't know if a better angle, actually, that I can use to pull that in. But anyway, I'll just explain uh, what you can't see that well necessarily. I'll try to give it a little more focus. But um, the Ottawa Senators, according to this, dressed four forwards, five defensemen, and a goaltender. Um, this is Bush League. This is Beer League relative to today. I mean, again, this isn't an era where they were figuring things out. And quite honestly, um, Ottawa's uh, offense, it looks like, and it, it appears so on the cards as well, it was propelled greatly from their back end. So it kind of makes sense that, yeah, you'd want to have, I guess, five defensemen. It was just, again, it was a very different game. It was played a lot differently. You can't really compare it to the game today. But just as interesting, if not maybe arguably even more. So again, Ottawa, to reiterate, four forwards and five defensemen were iced in this game. And keep in mind, too, that this could just be the inability to find exact, accurate information for the era. The Hamilton Tigers, on the other hand, they dressed eight forwards and one defenseman uh, for this game. Uh, Jake Forbes is in goal. Alec Connell is in goal for Ottawa. They will be the starters in this one as well. I have the lineups historically, except for I am going to have 10 players and not nine. I just want to go with six forwards and four defense. So I'm going to make some adjustments where I may just to play something a little closer to a standard game of hockey. But I thought it'd be interesting to point that out in advance. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know if there's really anything else uh, too much to add about it, but, um, oh yeah, actually, so King Clancy and Jesse Spring, they played defense in this game. They were also backup goaltenders, though again, you know, they won't get the starts in this one, uh, them being backups. But anyway, I'm going to actually pause this and maybe try to angle the camera a little better to get it, you know, focused on the game to follow. Okay, so we have, um, let's see, actually, I might want to lower that a little bit. Okay, I hope that looks okay. I feel like it's been too long since I last played this already. I can't even remember now. I think it's only been a few days to a handful of days. But um, anyway, I'm going to do my best. I feel like I know the game a lot better than when I last played it. But I also have this funny feeling that just knowing my luck, I will run into something here. I'll encounter something, especially at this hour, that will uh, cause me to give my head a scratch. But let's hope that that doesn't happen. So let's see here. I guess, yeah, right off the uh, opening face off. Uh, drop the puck here for the first period. I, I go uh, red die is 10s and blue die is 1s if you're able to see them and you want to follow along. So 53 here for the faceoff. We look at Frank Nybor's faceoff ratings of minus 1. Billy Birch is a plus 1. That does mean that Billy Birch is going to get the draw or first action card or first fact uh, flip rather. And it's going to be, um, this is here, it's going to go from Billy Birch across to Red Green. Then it's going to go back to right defenseman Charlie Langlois for a shot on goal A. I am going to take that shot on goal A. I am going to be a little more liberal, actually, about taking shot on goal A. Even when it's a defenseman with a lower rating, I decided after since going through the rules and, and thinking about my previous game that I would do that a little more in this one. So anyway, shot on goal A there, that's 88. So that's nowhere in range. I don't have to look at adjustments or anything like that. For a lot of roles, you do not. So we play on. I'm going to check the rebound now. Uh, it says your best defensive rating. The defense best defensive rating controls the puck. A quick glance at that, it would appear it's either going to be uh, Boucher, King, Clancy, or Hooley Smith. I do like to keep things completely random, so I'm going to drop this. And I, I said Boucher, King, Clancy, and Hooley Smith in order. So with that one, I'm going to give the puck to Boucher. And we're going to roll on here. Boucher, we're going to look at an action. And it's going to go from Boucher up the side to any across to Frank Nybor. And he's going to slide it back to King Clancy, actually, for shot and goal B. You know what? Clancy will take the shot and goal B. Shots are 1-1 one, one here, 53, not in range we're going to check a rebound and it says the offensive left defenseman so the puck's going to carry him over to george boucher george boucher with the puck now i got to check for a penalty so i'm going to roll these and with a 55 i don't think i'm going to get a penalty actually let's see four and four 
at a 55, double check here, four and four. Uh, no, that will not be a penalty. 50 or uh, above actually will not be a penalty uh, either way. So we roll on here. And I'm just going to uh, play it as if Boucher still has the puck. I'm pretty sure that's what I do. Correct me if I am wrong. Um, so it says the offside and a face-off here. And uh, we are going to... Uh, let's see how many fast action cards is that actually. It's almost too fast. One, two, three, four, five, six. So actually six, I sort of decided unofficially that's when I'm going to try giving the forwards a, a switch. Of course... I should have said right off the top that I play the game a little differently. This is the way I play it. I like the Dave Gardner disclaimer. I Others say it too. You know, I play the game that I want to play the way that I want to play it. This is the game that I want to play. And I do have some things about this game being the way that I want to play it. But um, really, this is just a substitute for looking at the, uh, the random number on the facts. And I use 60 cards here instead of the 105. Anyway, uh, so we're six in now, and I am going to switch out the forwards here. Although, again, keep in mind that in this game, Hamilton used eight forwards and one defense, if that is accurate. I mean, that was the NHL.com report on it, so who knows? It was almost 100 years ago. So uh, offside and a faceoff here. We roll on, and this time it's going to be an 18. So Mickey Roach with his minus one, Earl Campbell with his plus one. I'm going to give the puck to Campbell here for the Senators. And the Senators, they finished fourth overall that season in the NHL. The Hamilton Tigers came in first overall. And what might have been because the players went on strike rather than playing the postseason. Uh, it says check for penalty once more. So let's do that here. Uh, with a 63, again, we're not going to get one. So I'm going to assume Campbell retains possession. Says his cams off his skate. It's going to back to George Boucher across to King Clancy and up to Lith Graham actually for a shot on goal A. Now his shot on goal A is a one, but let's give it a shot here. Actually with a five, he just barely missed. I mean, unless there's really negative defense over here. Uh, Langlois with a minus three, and of course we can't go below one here. So whatever a five isn't a one, we flip and check for the rebound. It says here offensive shooter. Uh, for shot and goal C, actually, or 1D6 plus 3. This one, or sorry, plus 1D6 or 3. C plus 1D6. Uh, the shooter, actually. So, Graham, I mean, iron somewhat ironically here, actually. That's going to be better for him. Uh, C plus 3, we'll say, uh, I'll just go with 3, actually. We'll play the averages here. I might go back and forth on that arbitrarily. So, 39, nothing doing there. And I am going to actually try to switch out the defense here. Um, I've got this kind of system that I may or may not adhere to as things uh, move along here. So we're going to check for another rebound. And it says your offense, the best defenseman, best uh, rating, followed by his uh, quick shot on goal B. Wow. So Ottawa is really pouring on the pressure here. That's going to be Ed Gorman actually taking a shot on goal B. Let's give it a shot. Whoops, sorry. That, uh, that was just a blue die. Let's give it a shot there. At 46, it isn't going to work. So again, we're going to flip for yet another rebound. It does say this time home team right defenseman Hamilton finally bailed out there by Alex McKinnon. Did McKinnon not start? Anyway, uh, we, <laughs> we play on. He should have. <laughs> um, I, I did make some, uh, some switch-ups here before the game. I moved some cards actually to try to... Uh, I meant to... Anyway, I tried to do something that now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't actually work quite as well, so... Uh, you know what? So let's get it so that everyone is visible as possible on camera. So, uh, Ed Gorman, Lionel Hitchman, Cam Randall, and Alex McKinnon, there you go. And obviously when I flip it, I mean, that might look a little distracting. I, I did actually take a comment and a suggestion to, uh, to, uh, to change it out here and uh, not have any upside down cards showing on camera. And I agree. That's something I was thinking about doing anyway. And then when someone else suggested it, I thought, yeah, I should definitely go forward with that. But, um, I just want to make sure, again, that everything can be seen easily enough here, as easy, as easily as possible, really, on camera. I mean, obviously, I can't have the camera right on my hand. I still have to roll and play, but you get the idea, I hope. So, anyway, I think we're up to about, let's see here. You know what? Let's see even one, two, three, four, six, nine, twelve. 12. That's where I thought we were, so about 12. Um, so, like I had said, Alex McKinnon finally bailed out the uh, the Hamilton Tigers here on right defense, and we're going to switch out the forwards here once more. I may neglect doing this at times. I'm going to try to do it as much as possible and just kind of do it manually. It's, you know, try to have fun, coach both teams as well as I can. And it does say here, actually, in this action card that the puck is stolen by the defense with the best defensive rating. So, I take a quick look here at Ottawa, and what I'm seeing, actually, it's looking uh, like either Hooley Smith or Ed Gorman. So, let's see here. Smith or Gorman. Uh, that, this is six. We're going to go, we're going to give the puck actually to Ed Gorman. So, uh, Gorman now we're going to draw action here. Third highest assist, uh, pass to choice for a shot and goal. A. am just going to go straight to choice for a shot and goal. A. And should a goal be scored? I'll look at the third highest assist. So side and any, he's fresh on the ice here. He's going to get the puck shot and goal. A one to 38 with an 87. That's not going to work. Going to flip for the rebound here. Puck frozen and a face off. So, you know what, since it's a face off, I will switch out the defense. 
Um, and you know what? Actually, I'm going to double shift these guys. I'm going to double shift Hamilton's top guys. We're going to have top on top here. Again, I don't think that it's really out of the realm of anything that would have been done back in the day. So I feel reasonably okay with uh, with doing that. I think we're about 13 cards in now. We're going to flip for the face off or flip for the face off, roll for the face off. And that's going to go actually to Billy Birch over here for Hamilton. Birch with the puck. And second, third highest assist rating skater is going to go actually to uh, the center for a shot and goal C. I think uh, Birch is going to try to maneuver for better here. He gets it back to Kevin Randall. Randall up to red green. It's going to go across to Billy Birch once again. He has a shot and goal A this time. It's shot and goal A. Birch with a 63. Uh, nothing doing there. So we're going to look at the rebounds. His home team left wing. Red green. He maintains the puck for Hamilton. And it says here it's going to be stopped by... Uh, the center stop by the center over to uh, uh, Cam Randall. It's going to go up actually to Red Green for a shot on goal. A here, so Green he'll have his shot with a 71. That's nowhere near. And let's see what happens pending the rebound. I might look for another change here. Says here, offensive center, a shot on goal C or um, uh, 1D or 1D6. Sorry, plus, C plus 1D6 or 3. So I guess that would give uh, Billy Birch an eight. And you know what? I'm going to actually take that shot and assume that he's going to sort of fire it, kind of dump it at the net. And then we're going to change the forwards here with a 57. So I'm going to assume that he sort of fires it on goal. That will give um, Hamilton at least a chance to change the forwards. And while we're at it, we'll change him for Ottawa too. Again, this is 1924. Um, so with that 57, I'm going to check for the rebound here and see it's his defensive center. So Earl Campbell on the ice now. He takes the puck to the two highest uh, assists to the right wing for a shot on goal A. Frank Finnegan with his shot on goal A. Again, I will take it even though his shot on goal A is only a 129. So immediately I'm going to check for the rebound. It does say puck frozen in a face off. Let's get our other defenseman on here now. And uh, we're going to quickly roll here for the draw. Mickey Roach up against Earl Campbell. And with an 82, that faceoff is going to be Roach's, actually. Hamilton with possession. It says check for penalty. Let's do that. 50 or below, we have one. That's a 60, so no penalty yet. And uh, we play on here, Roach with possession. It says to assist over five, which is really rare in 24. I'm not going to look too closely at it. Highest shot on goal A rating for a shot on goal A. That would actually be... Um, I guess Roach himself, but I'm going to say just for narrative's sake, he's going to feed it back to Langlois. Charlie Langlois there, defense. Actually, that's a three, so that's within range. I mean, I could look here. Graham's defense, no, if anything, that enables it more so. So we're going to flip now and see if Connell made the save. Connell on the road with a 70. Connell with a big stop, actually. His range, 17 to 75. So we're going to have a save and a face-off here. And uh, let's see, you know what, let's switch out the forwards, get the top guns back on here again after the face-off. So again, it's just a couple of flips here. It's pretty straightforward, I think. I could probably even do it a little more quickly than I'm doing it. Um, so the 94 this time, it will be the inferior uh, face-off uh, center with the puck. Frank Nybor with it and Nybor... Uh, puck to the left wing, so it's going to go over to side to Nenny, across to Hooley Smith, back to Lionel Hitchman uh, for a shot on goal A. That's right, I didn't change up the defense. Hitchman's actually going to look for better. I'm going to break my own little rule that I said I'd give to myself here prior to the game. To the two highest assist rating skaters, probably the two forwards to uh, the left wing for a shot on goal B. Did any shot on goal B a 1-16? to Let's give it a shot here. And look at that with a double O, so it's in range. Jake Forbes uh, going to be tasked with making a big save here at home. With an 88, he's unable to, so... Ottawa strikes first, and they strike relatively early, or about midway through the period, actually, now. And the Senators here, they're going to be up one nothing. Um, so, yeah, I guess we, uh, let's see here. Do I, uh, Forge just came on. Let's actually switch out the defense. Um, and we'll get our, we'll get our good defenseman on here now. Ottawa up one nothing. We're going to leave our top guns on, and we're going to take another face off here. Drop the puck once more, 32. That does mean that Billy Birch is going to have the puck here for Hamilton. It's going to cross to Birch, back to Cam Randall. Cam Randall is going to get it up to, uh, let's see, let's give it to Shorty Green, actually, for his first shot of the contest. A shot on goal B. Green with a 55, nothing doing there. So it's going to go back to actually home team right wing. Green gets his own rebound. Still across to Green. It's going to go up to Billy Birch. Billy Birch across left wing. Red Green for a shot on goal A. Green here with a shot on goal A. I'm going to have to play this back and see how many shots were, in fact, taken. 98, so he's nowhere close. In fact, I would like to consider that a wild shot, but anyway... Um, it's not in the rebound. So uh, defense right wing. So that means that Hooley Smith will get the puck here for the Senators. And it does say puck frozen face off. And to me, that feels like a good time. You know what? I'm not going to actually change out uh, all skaters this time. We'll try to mix things up here, a little variety. Uh, so we'll change out all five skaters here in the face off. And uh, we, we roll on. Um, let's see here. 
So with an 83, an 83 means that Mickey Roach will get it, being the inferior draw taker. Mickey Roach, it says, anyone plus two assists, a skater to highest value for a shot on goal C. You know what? I'm going to decline the shot on goal C and look for better for many of them. Second highest assist rating now and off to the left wing for a shot on goal B. Again, if there's a goal scored, I will look at the second highest assist rating. If not, I will overlook it. Shot on goal B from Charlie Koch. Actually, wait. Yeah, left wing for shot on goal B, so Koch will look for better as well. I will take a shot no matter what this third time, and actually the action, so we have icing and a face-off here. Um, so we'll play on actually with uh, this this uh, sort of the bottom half of the lineup here for at least a few more flips and rolls. And that's going to be Earl, Earl Campbell actually off the draw. Campbell now. Uh, this is stolen by the defender, Mickey Roach, but I have to check for a penalty, so let's see what he did in doing so. With a 29, that is going to be a penalty actually here for him, 4 and 20. Uh, so that's going to go to the Ottawa Senators actually. So maybe Roach resting it away from Campbell. Campbell ended up hooking him or something. And we roll to see actually what the severity of the penalty is here for um, Earl Campbell and a 94. So we're looking at a 2, what did I say, hooking. So it's going to be a two-minute minor for hooking, and there is no coincidental on it. We'll put Campbell in the box for two minutes. I think what I'm going to do, actually, is uh, I'm going to say that Nybor is in the box. I'll put Denny and Hooley Smith out here to kill the penalty, put Ottawa's top two defenders on as well. There were no delayed penalties in um, 1924. I think that does work to my advantage here. So this is an automatic face-off. And, uh, of course, uh, Hamilton being on the power play, they're going to want to have all their top guns here on the ice. So... Anyway, and also for this, I'm going to count out six because, again, I go about 20 seconds per flip because I intersperse it with more uh, action rolls from the 2D10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seem to work out pretty well for the Mo Toronto St. Pat's Montreal Canadiens uh, season opener there. I mean, it was a 7-1 score historically. I ended up rolling and flipping out an 8-1. So, uh, anyway, we're going to try to remember now. Maybe I should put these off to the side <laughs> until the power play is done. Okay. Uh, so here in the face off, we'll say Hooley Smith taking the draw with a 20. That means that red green's going to win the face off anyway over Smith. Whose face off rating is a zero, not too shabby for a wing. Uh, it says to the right defenseman, Alex McKinnon, McKinnon's going to get it up to red green for a shot on goal. A keep in mind the shot on goal. A here's a 33 for red green here in the power play with a 90. I'm going to have to check for the rebound. I'll add this actually to this pile and check for the rebound. It does say defensive right defenseman King Clancy with the puck. Ottawa is going to try to hold on to it now. And it's a uh, Clancy. He holds on to it. He gets it over to George Boucher. Boucher actually gets it up to Denny for a shot and goal A here shorthanded. Um, I do have to take 10 away from that. It isn't a breakaway, but you know what? I am going to award him a shot and goal A here. 28 or below. Ottawa up one nothing here. Chance shorthanded, but Denny, uh, the roll is high. So for the rebound, it does say defensive left wing. We go across to red green. Ottawa is doing reasonably well, killing this penalty. Stolen by defense and a possible breakaway here. So let's see. Drum roll, please. Shot and goal A near the end of the pa uh, power play for Hamilton. Could Ottawa have a shorthanded opportunity here in the breakaway? They do not, however. Um, so I'm just going to play. So stolen. See there? Again, again, I knew I was going to run into something. I just had a feeling it would be just my luck. So uh, let's see. It says deflects to center, drops to right defenseman, cross ice to left defenseman for a shot on goal B. Uh, because it wasn't stolen away and there wasn't actually a breakaway there, I don't know. I still feel like I should award it actually to the shorthanded team for whatever reason. Um, so left defenseman for a shot on goal B, George Boucher here and killing the power play. Let's see, uh, with an 80, obviously nowhere near. And actually with that, again, a shot on goal is a good opportunity to fire. Let's get actually after a couple of more intensive minutes, let's get, uh, everyone over to the bench and let's get, uh, our second, uh, second defense pair and second forward line here on. And I'm just going to flip for the rebound and see you as the puck. Now, again, doing things a little arbitrarily against how I, I'm opting to play it here. Uh, the rebound offense shooter, actually, the shooter who left the ice for shot. I'm going to overlook that. Um, and uh, can I overlook that? Let me think about that for a second. You know what? Before he leaves the ice, uh, goodness, it was Boucher, I believe I announced. Yeah, with a shot on goal B. So shot on goal A plus 1D6 or 3. Uh, minus, of course, the defender defense rating. So let's say his, well, his defense rating is a minus 2 anyway. And uh, Boucher here with uh, his uh, shot on goal A, actually, plus uh, three, we'll say. So with the 24, you know what? This is a legitimate opportunity. 78, so nowhere near anyway. So again, he's going to head off the ice. And uh, let's see. I'll flip, actually, for another rebound, though. See if he's able to even get off. They just don't want to leave the ice. Offensive right defenseman King Clancy, who did actually score the first goal in this game historically. And... Uh, Let's see here. Hamilton probably can't change either in the meantime. With a 12, actually, and a shot on goal A. Sorry if this one's been a bit sloppy, but with a shot on goal A, 
Forbes, he will actually have to come up with another big save here because that's just not going to matter. Shorty's uh, defense isn't good enough. Forbes with a 53, however, a big stop, so we will get a face-off. We will get that line change that I was trying to maneuver here anyway. And, uh, yeah, everybody says the secondaries are going to come out. We're almost through the period now. Just over 20 minutes, though. Let's see. And, again, I talked for several minutes there at the beginning. With a 58, uh, the draw is going to be one, actually. Actually, no, wait, sorry, a plus two. Yes, it will. It will be won by Earl Campbell. Earl Campbell gets it over to Frank Finnegan. Off to left Graham and left Graham. He's going to get it over to Earl Campbell for a shot on goal A. Campbell won't decline, even though he only has a 1% chance. It does keep it 200 feet away from Ottawa's net and in Hamilton's end. And for the rebound, puck frozen and a face-off. So we're going to call this a short shift, actually. And I kind of like the idea, actually. I'm in the rotation now, subbing 5-5. Five and five. Maybe I'll do that for simplicity's sake. Maybe when I kick off the second period again, I'll start leaving the defense out there for a little longer than I would leave the forwards for what it's worth. So anyway, we're going to have another quick draw here, and that's with a 77. That's going to um, Frank Nybor with the puck. Nybor says check for a penalty once more. Let's see. This time of the 51, just out of either team's range. Um, so, uh, let's see here. Nyborg, whoops, Nyborg's going to get it back to King Clancy. Clancy off to George Boucher, who barely left the ice, actually. For a shot on goal A, why not? If you look, I mean, he averaged how much ice time per game? 37 minutes and 24 seconds ice time per game on average. So, I think I'm justified in leaving him out here a little long. With an 80, though, we're going to just flip for the rebound. Offensive right defenseman King Clancy once again propelling the offense, driving it just like in real life. And Clancy... Uh, up to assist 6+, plus, which I'll just presume Ottawa does not have. Uh, then, then he's a 5, though. He's close. Uh, so we'll say center or right defenseman here. And over to Hooley Smith for a shot on goal B. Hooley Smith shot on goal B. He's going to try to maneuver for better. Late in the period, Ottawa up by 1. They might even want to turn the four checking back. I still have it on 2-2. Two -two. Maybe if they get up by another goal and it gets a little later into it. Says here, a loose puck to the third highest assist rating. And I did actually get clarification on that, and thank you very much for it. So it is going to be maintained by the offense here by Ottawa. Third highest assist rating here, which again, I'm only going to look at if potentially there is a goal. Shot and goal A for King Clancy. Again, I've, I've already said he did score in real life in this one. With a 58 this time, however, he won't be able to. So um, look at the rebound here. This is the offense choice for a shot and goal B. Uh, let's see, Denny with a shot on goal B, it's still at 16. Why not give that a shot? With a 65, nowhere near, though. So the offense left wing, uh, four, another shot on goal B, plus 1D6 or a 3. You know what? Let's just for variety's sake. With a 6, so actually 1 to 22 this time on a shot on goal B with a 46. Again, we're going to flip for a rebound. Defensive center this time, Billy Birch. And uh, let's see, I think actually as uh, Hamilton takes it up ice, I think Washington will sub their, uh, their forwards out. And uh, Hamilton at least will get a chance to change their defenders. And maybe Birch, after he makes a play here, they'll try to head off the ice. Uh, assist 7+, plus. we're not going to have that. I'm going to go shorty green, shot on goal A, and try to sub out Hamilton's forwards here. Green with a 1 on the shot on goal A could hit, or sorry, an 81. I'm going to have to play this back now. Did my finger hit it inadvertently? I'm going to say that's an 81 and not a 1. Sorry, potentially some controversy here. Always is such when the Hamilton Tigers are involved. Not always, but what might have been, right? Defensive right defenseman on the rebound. That's King Clancy once again, though I should look to get him off the ice. And Clancy, it says offside and a face-off, so it's like they were asking for it. Maybe the offside was deliberate. A delay a game sort of thing here with the quick draw. And it's going to be a 69. So final action here of the period. I, I did say I would sub... Uh, you know, get the forwards off there. So in this case, we're going to say for what it's worth, the Mickey Roach final action of the period, just offside and a face-off. So we're going to blow this one down. We'll be back momentarily for period two. The score is one nothing Ottawa Senators after one.